Hey guys, we're Rob out here. Happy New Year. And I'm always in hotwater.com and boats in hotwater.com. And we've already kicked off the season starting uh, pretty good here with a couple boats already under contract. We are on about the 12th of January. 2016 and uh, right now we're in, I'm in 40 degree weather it may look warm out here but it is not uh, so I'll try not to fumble through my lips uh, but I had to get out here to this one uh, which actually I might even scoop up for myself uh, I haven't quite made up my mind yet but uh, this is now available to the marketplace and it is a very very nice boat um, I'm very impressed I've always been impressed with the Pioneer design, um, but this is actually in really solid and clean condition. And um, I will not, uh, I'll make sure I put uh, pictures of the trailer. This actually hails with trailer as well. And what we're presenting here is a 2006 Pioneer 197 Sportfish with a Yamaha 150 F150 TXR. Uh, hailing somewhere between 300 and 400 hours would be my guess uh, based on use as told to me by the seller but once again you can always pull a computer report um, as far as I'm concerned even under 500 hours uh, you know I mean you're good to go this has been a dry stack stored vessel since 2006 and also this is the second owner the original owner purchased this boat and sold it within a few months to the current owners and um, as he wanted a bigger boat, and she's been sitting over there in dry stack storage ever since. And uh, the trailer's basically been used for service or for traveling uh, with the boat, uh, you know, down to the Keys or wherever you would go uh, with the vessel. And um, I'm, from my understanding too, that also has a fresh set of tires on it. Last service done on the vessel would be the beginning of last season, including water pump. Uh, she was used probably only about 30, 35 hours this season, and hence the seller's just not getting the use out of the boat, so it's time for it to go. So let me get to the crux of the matter now that you have the story on it. Overall, um, the hull is in really great shape. You have no bottom paint. Uh, you have minimal marking um, you know, up in the keel area, and also down on the hull, as you guys can see, most of that could probably be buffed out. For 2006, I don't think anybody's going to have any complaints as we move, as we're basically on the starboard side of the vessel. Uh, you do have a little bit of a nick here, um, but overall, she has been kept clean and maintained. Basically, all I can really do here for you guys is kind of just point out the negatives because uh, overall, the rest is going to be self explanatory. It looks like at some point there was a transducer up in this area. As you can see, the holes, they can easily be sealed, as now there's a new, or uh, all, all looks almost new, uh, Lowrance HDS-5. And down on underneath, it looks like it might be time for an anode soon, and you got a little bit on the skeg up here. You got, looks like we might have uh, uh, <laughs> hit bottom, but that's about it. Overall, I put pictures up on the site of the uh, engine. And also, I want to make note, there's a couple marks on the exterior cowling. Uh, you got a little mark right there and a little scratch up top. But overall, once again, nothing to complain about. And as far as any kind of distress anywhere, this is really the only where I found it on the vessel. is actually on the uh, swim platform, uh, the ladder. Uh, you know, some cosmetic little bit of cracking. But overall, um, you are really good to go. Um, I have not had this vessel out on the water. Uh, I was going to take it out today, but, um, you know, 45 degree weather, uh, I'm just going to be a big baby about it. I've done, gone through and have exercised the tilt and trim motor um, and a couple of the options, turn on the batteries. Batteries are interstate and they look fresh. And as I walk through the interior of the vessel, I'll kind of just give you guys a real nice walkthrough and you can see how well this vessel has been taken care of. As you guys can see, the side cushions are uh, in really, really nice shape. You know, you do have a little bit of wear and tear up on the top and the sun, you know, fading. You know, at some point you might eventually end up replacing them, but far right now you're good to go. This side here looks great. Um, you know, I don't know why this side basically uh, is in much better condition up on the top, but once again, cosmetically um, in, in really good condition. Up on the helm itself, you guys can see here you got a little bit of a 
spot right there. Real nice. Uh, that's got to be at least an 80 gallon live well, I would assume. Um, right up in there. Now the uh, we do there are cushions uh, for the rear seating. Just so you guys know, they're actually uh, in storage. So that is there uh, above the um, uh, cool uh, ice, uh, basically uh, <laughs> storage areas. And up in the forward bow, there is no uh, cushion for this. And obviously you can see your anchor storage and you have plenty of storage up underneath here. And we'll take a look. Remember personal items is seen not included, but you have plenty of storage. As far as in the center console area, um, cushion looks great. Cooler's in good shape, so you have plenty of seating here, and you guys can see the condition. They just need to be cleaned up a little bit for the, um, you know, for the uh, side to give you that protection. And as far as the T-top goes, it's in really good shape. In fact, let's pop up. First couple of people that see this, I promise to take the shakiness out in editing. You guys can kind of see what you got going on up there. Um, the uh, boat's as solid as a rock. I, you know, have no complaints, no issues um, there. I'm not showing any distress. The boat's just solid and clean. This one is a no-brainer. Um, nothing to complain about here for a 2006 Perco switch, dual interstate batteries. I can't really see the dates on them, but uh, overall everything looks pretty good. As always, I recommend on pre-owned vessels anyway, change your batteries at least after the first season. Um, that way you know what kind of range um, and time frame you are with the batteries that are in your vessel. There is no meter on this boat, so the hours is a guesstimation. Um, once again, you're more than happy to pay somebody to pull a computer report as part of your survey or inspection. A Lowrance HDS5. You're running a Lowrance LVR850, and I think this is basically your standard Sony Marine stereo with CD player. So overall, just a real solid, clean, awesome 2006 Pioneer. I like the design. Uh, dry weight, uh, probably without the engine, is about 1,800 pounds, so you probably be about 2,500 pounds. And uh, I'll check uh, fuel tank capacity. I think it's 72 gallons, and also beam on this is running about 8.2 versus 8.6. You just have a great opportunity here to get into a family fun and fishing vessel as well. Um, the boat has been serviced yearly out here and obviously taken care of with kid gloves and you just will not find a lot of 2006 model of any boat in this kind of condition and, and it's good to go. So anyway, we're going to call it turnkey ready. So Rob out here and I'm always in hotwater.com with a really, really nice 2006 Pioneer 197 Sportfish Yamaha 154 stroke. So you guys have a great and safe boating day. Rob signing off.